Hello and welcome to the first episode of our Digital Spotlight series. In this series, we're going to be showing you things you can do with the library's electronic resources and features that you might not have been aware of that can really change the way you use them. In this episode, I'm going to be focusing on some settings, some appearance settings you can change in Libby that can really make reading ebooks a lot more enjoyable and easy on the eyes. So here we are in the Libby app. For the uninitiated, Libby is the sort of updated app for OverDrive. It has access to all the same ebooks and audiobooks, and the interface is a little bit more user friendly and easy to use. So to change your appearance options, you're going to open up a book you have checked out. Once you have a book open, you can click towards the middle of the page to access those appearance options. Be careful when you're clicking because if you drag to the left or right during the click, it'll be interpreted as a page flip. So just try and do a neutral click if you can. When you do that, you'll get bars along the top and bottom of the screen. On some devices along the top, you'll see some options, including the letter A, and you can use that to access the appearance options right away. I'm on Windows 10. Here you get three vertical dots in the upper right-hand corner. You have to click that to get your options and clicking appearance here will take me to the appearance options, which is where we're going. Okay, here we have it, the main event. So to set dark mode, you're gonna to go to that pop-up menu towards the bottom of the page. And under lighting, you're gonna select dark. And if I hide the appearance menu with that little hide button, you can see the way it looks. Now you might be thinking all that did was flip the colors of the page and the text. Well, you'd be right, but with this much less white light flowing in from the page, it's a lot less draining in the eyes and it makes marathon reading sessions a lot easier and a lot more doable. Also, beyond the whole issue of eye strain, I should mention if you're using an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy phone, most of those have what are called OLED screens. They're really good at displaying the color black. And what that means is this mode looks pretty good. Basically, it looks like the white text is just sort of floating on your screen because the black pixels turn off. So it looks like it's your screen's off except for the text. It's hard to explain, but it's pretty neat looking. So that's not all as far as appearance options are concerned. Let's get back to that appearance menu by clicking towards the center of the page and going to appearance. Here, you can see there's an option for text scale. If you drag this to the right, it'll make everything bigger. If you drag it to the left, it'll make it smaller. And if you click this include accessibility options button here, you can actually make the text extremely large. So reading isn't an eyesight contest, and this is a great feature to make use of if you find that the text is unreadably small or uncomfortably small, or if it's obnoxiously large. And if you scroll beneath the text scale and lighting options, you'll find you can change font as well. There's even an option called Open Dyslexia. This gives you a font that is meant to increase readability for, for people with dyslexia. That about wraps up how you can adjust the appearance options in Libby. And I hope you find, like me, that dark mode is a real game changer. Anyway, happy reading.